Hi, my name is Chi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You're watching Petit Jesse. Today's video, I will talk about the best mother of the bride dresses. First of all, I want to say the wedding day of your daughter is one of the most important occasions for her as well as for you. So I want to make sure you have everything you need in order to find the best mother of the bride dress. The number one thing you should do is to have a conversation with your daughter on what she envisioned her wedding day to be. Because that will be critical for, in order for you to start planning what you should wear. Where is a wedding location? Is, is it going to be an indoors or outdoors wedding? Is it in the church? Is it in a country club? Or is it a destination wedding in on an island? And what is the wedding color? What is the theme? Is it going to be a formal wedding or is it casual? All those questions will be helpful for you to understand what kind of mother of the bride dress you should be wearing on that day. And number two is understand your body type and look for something that's flattering for your specific shape. Understanding your body type is the first step you should do before you start looking for the right mother of the bride dress. For instance, if you are an apple shape and you tend to accumulate body weight around your abdomen, then you probably should not look, be looking for a mother of the bride dress that is very tight because you don't want to emphasize your midsection. You want something that is made of stretchy fabrics and that can draw attention away from your midsection. If you are interested in form-fitting dresses but are concerned your waistline no longer looks like your 20s or 30s, then consider a dress with a ruching on the waist. If you have an hourglass shape, this is your opportunity to show off your beautiful curves. You want a dress that accentuates your small waistline. The universally flattering dress shape is the fit and flare dresses. It looks good on almost any body type, and it's especially flattering if you have pear shape. And number three is the length of the dress. I recommend two lengths for mother of the bride dresses. The first is the T length. What is a T length? Meaning the hemline of the dress falls below your knees, but it's above your ankle. This dress length is wonderful because some of us, if you do not want to show your knees, this is a great length for you because it's still show some skin and which can make your proportion look better. This is also called the midi lens. Traditionally, midi lens could be more challenging for a petite woman to pull off because the dress is ends somewhere in between your ankle and your knees. It's possible that it, it can make you look your legs look a little cut off. So in order to compromise that, in order to find the best style for the maintenance dress, I suggest you go with a lighter fabrics. If the fabric is lighter, it will make sure you don't look as cut off. And the second length I recommend is the ankle or the floor length. Even if you are petite, I suggest you try this length because it actually works great on a shorter woman. For petite women, we need lengths. And that's exactly what a maxi lens dress will give us. When you wear an ankle lens or floor lens, the dress can actually elongate your petite figure. And that is very flattering for shorter ladies. And now let's look at the jewelry. It's so important. If the wedding of your daughter is a formal wedding, it's critical that you should wear the right jewelry to go with mother of the bride dress. If your dress already has a lot of embellishments, a lot of laces, and the style is somewhat complicated, then you want to go with something less complicated with your jewelry. You may want just one or maximum two pieces of jewelry that flatters your body. 
As a petite woman, we always want the jury to draw the tension above and draw the focal point above so that we can look longer and taller. Our proportion will look better. So the ideal jewelry is a statement necklace or statement earrings because they will draw attention above to our face. Number five, proportion. Proportion is extremely important when you are choosing petite, when you are choosing mother of the bride dress because if the dress has a waistline that's designed to sit higher than your natural waistline, then it will make your proportion look a lot better. If you have a defined waistline, I suggest considering a belted dress and make sure the belt sits higher than your natural waist. If you have thicker midsection, you probably should not be wearing a belted dress to emphasize your waistline even more. In that case, empire waist is your best friend. If you have a midsection concern, that will also help you disguise your midsection. Number six, what you wear underneath matters. The undergarment is very important because what you wear underneath really matters, especially on this important day of your daughter. I understand a lot of the shapewear is not very comfortable. It's not something you want to wear every day, but this is a special day for your daughter and for you. So make sure you invest in a high quality shapewear because when you wear the right underwear, your posture will look different. The mother of the bride dress will look more smooth on you and it will make quite a difference. Number seven, plan as early as possible. Planning is very important for this special day. I want to say that for a bride, she should probably be looking for a bridal dress at least six months to a year prior to the wedding day. And for mother of the bride, a minimum of three to six months because you need to go through a lot of trying. There are shops and retailers that carry and designers that carry mother of the bride dress for petite women but even with those petite sizes it probably makes sense for you to try on different styles from different designers and most likely you will need to take them to the tailor to make sure it fits you perfectly in every possible way. Here's another video I suggest you watch that will help you find the best mother of the bride dresses. Watch this video and let me know what questions you have.